Greetings, ladies, gentlemen, barbarians, fellow tropicans, merchants alike, and still don't know what to call it. Um, fuck it up. Fuck it up. And sorry for swearing. Yeah. Journey for a watch. When we last stuff up, when we last left off, good old grammar helps us in by trying to hinder us completely. Let us sell lace and fortunes. Not the candy, and maybe the taiyaki and the candy apple. We need to when we last stuff off, we need to make ten grand and there's my mouse, which I shall move out of the way. So let's open the store for today. You gonna buy armor, Louis? Yes you could sell it, Louis. But don't you want to buy something? And that heart means his Louis' very stingy pockets have just become a bit deeper somehow. Probably still empty, but eh, at least they're deeper. Ice and for. Yeah, I'm not gonna make a minor lace miserabilis joke here. By the way, this takes place in mythic France. You're on an errand to pick up armor that probably weighs more than you do. I'll buy it. Or sell it. you sell this I will pay that much now an even 6,000 all I need to do is sell 4,000 more come on old men how much that's how much And look, we're already three quarters of the way there. And level up. Wow, naturally I'm already happier playing this game. This game can have that effect on hat. Like I said, you need hats. That's what everyone wants. Oh well. You might have, but don't sweat the small stuff. And what else should we put on display? One sword. How about a longbow? And... Hmm. Laundry pole. Clothes. Might as well put stuff out. Put stuff out to sell. Oh yeah, we can change walls with level 6. Which comes into effect later. Listen, Lay, you got some food? Food, 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 food. Yes, I do. Perhaps you would like a beef bowl. Alright, that'll do. Eh, there's no way I'd sell for that. No, you don't have that kind of money. And we are 100 picks away from actually reaching our goal. Big game? How, how about for that? Near pin. And we have thousand, two thousand spare. 
That's good. Bracelet. Do we have a bracelet? I don't think we do. No, we do not. You can never please little girls because they're little girls. Let's go into town and spend two, two grand for the sake of it. I was hoping for an event. Can we go adventuring for Louis for the list? Yes, we can. Okay, somehow we're going to meet a porter this episode. It's only been five minutes in. So after this dungeon, probably we shall meet this porter and end it. Let's bring an apple into Jade Way of Final Five Floors. I didn't screw myself, did I? No, it was 2,000, right? Yep, we still have 850 left. Here's a new enemy. I believe they're called knights. But that's kind of an obvious guess. You cannot attack them from the front, but you can attack them from the back and side. So they generally give a lot of experience. That was Bomb Trap. Yeah, you can also attack them when for a counter attack, but that's if you want to use a counter attack. Good old Louis the Swordsman. And lag that I blame for that. Slime fluid. I don't know what slime fluid is used for, but I assume it's used for something. And powerful anti-venom, which if you do get poisoned, admittedly that's a very rare occurrence, you could use that. Ranking up a good chain and eyeballs. I think that's what they're called. I really should look up what these things are called. You can get bat wings from them. Look, treasure. One sword. Oh dear. Ropers. The bane of everyone's existence. And bees. My god. I've only made this joke. So yeah. Violence. So how are you guys holding up? I still can't believe you made another Hamlet reference. Well, of course. It's a good Shakespearean play. This kind of a Shakespearean setting. So it fits. Unlike in Tropico. And now I still don't understand a lick of that hint. Yeah, I kind of butchered it. Because I was trying to think of it up on the fly. Which you should never do. Word to the wise. And let's fight some more, actually. Might as well get some good old violence in this in these videos. Thinking all violence good. Yeah, at least get these experience farms, I mean knights, down. Yeah, knights tend to give you a lot of experience because side and back attacks tend to give you more experience. Or give you bonus experience. And bonus damage, so it's generally advised to do that. And level up for Louis, the swordsman. And also, if you've noticed, Louis becomes more expensive the more 
few levels up. Which is kind of a bit of balance. If you have a super powerful adventurer, you, you'll have to pay a decent dip bit for them. If you have a very weak sock weak weak sauce kind of adventurer, you're gonna probably not pay as much. Special Inkwell. Mr. Inkwell. Kudos to anyone who got that theater reference. Because I don't even know how I remembered that. That play didn't even work when I was in high school. Or did that in high school? And we are here. And what's in the chest? Another worn sword. I swear, a long sword would be helpful here. Nope. Not in the slightest. Shall it come to my aid? Warps can be helpful sometimes. Warps can be hindrance sometimes. And mystery ingredient. Egg toast. Power of a balanced breakfast. Yeah. It's very easy to spout randomness about this game, I've tend to notice. I think I'm getting better at this whole commentating thing. Sure you are, kid. Sure you are. Well, it's better than Civilization 3, that's for certain. Maybe it's because there's a lot of things to talk about that can be easily explained. Toothpicks. Because knights carry those. And more candy to sell at a later date. Those who've played this game before know exactly what date I'm talking about. What date are you talking about? It's a secret for now. And kill all the three ropers and... Oh jeez, oh jeez, run away, run away! Okay. Hopefully I'll level up soon. Because I am very close to dying. Hopefully I don't lose to the boss. The porter of this game. Something tells me you're going to make some sort of sexual joke. Well, if the need arises, I will, seeing that I made the Porter reference. Yeah, I'm not going to take that chance. Do not sing to the game, Asher Capradun. Do not sing to the game. Do not sing to the game's music. Ever. Especially if it's a legitimate music. Like, artists kind of songs. Like, Blue Moon. Lord knows I'd get copyright claim on the song that is done by everyone in the plat in the past century. Because that's the music industry for you. And judging by those triangles in the minimap to the bottom right, the Roper is back. And so is the Knoll. Joy! And they're both the same type. Minor interruptions aside. Yeah. Fish! Giant enemy fish. It's very dangerous. But with that experience, I am shaking my fist in utter shock and horror. 
Okay, this might end bad. Or might end good. Ah, oh, this is so nerve-wracking, you can't believe. <sighs> that is a sigh of relief right there. Jinsar, that's an elemental stone, the other thing that mob can drop. Enemy. Bees. Mushrooms. Do not eat them. Do not eat bees. Why would you eat bees beyond me? And how you beat bunnies is to trap them into a wall, if that isn't obvious enough by now. I don't know what is. Okay, I have no are you here punching one. Louis Shield cannot defend against that, if that wasn't obvious enough. However, you could defend against that, and if that either it was just me or that was a shell. Like a seashell. I'm gonna use special attacks a little more frequently. Might save me once in a while. Oh god. Oh god, times two. Let's see if we can get a third one here. Let's not. <laughs> Though. Shark fin! What can we drop? Um, mystery ingredient that isn't the bottom one. Okay. That was pure timing luck. I don't think I could... Well, I guess I could do that again, but... Out of will, not. Never. Because criticals are random. If that wasn't obvious enough... I don't know. <laughs> I can't think of anything more obvious than... Critical strikes being random. And that's one B less to be worried about. Sorry for the bad pun. That I did not intend. need those. Because people tend to like hats. It's like it's winter or something here. It's clearly spring. I think anyway. Time passes weird in Racketeer. Mushroom. No, no, that's. Can throw that one away and take that water shroom because I think I need those for something. I quite. Uh, I can't quite remember. Grammar, good old Asher grammar. I guess I'm getting there at this old talking business. But I need a better mic, that's probably the ultimate thing here. <laughs> or I need to speak louder. Or deeper. on SP. Watch they are. Uh, you know what, I'm going this 
a dungeon explored. Now to run to the exit. To our boss. The Porter, as I like to call her. Aren't the Porter's male? Enough about that. Dialogue! So this is the lowest floor of the dungeon tier? Not particularly. While we cannot currently proceed any further, I strongly expect that we can go even deeper in next time. Wait, huh? Why's that? The dungeons change shape every time someone enters it. Some theorize that they adapt to the strength of those who enter it and refer to it as the living dungeon phenomenon. The truth of the matter is unclear, however. Uh, okay. wonder if the dungeon gets bored if it's alone. <coughs> Let me see if I can muster a voice for this. So that would make the people who are foolish enough to enter a place like this the playthings of the underworld? Heh, <laughs> I see. I like the way you think, girl. <laughs> Who, who's there? Who's this lovable rogue? Good evening. Name's Tron, the lady thief. Thief? So, your treasures, valuables, and assorted, assorted shiny bits. I'll be taking them, if you would please. He won't let you! <sighs> Always the way. Well then, in that case, looks like it's time to cut some fools! Charm, the Lady Porter. Now, Charm is the first real serious boss. Ow. You fight. She likes to get behind you, and she likes to counterattack. Keep your distance, although don't g go into that area. That's a net trap, and you'll get stuck. That's one of her special moves, and she may not have a strong range, but she's a, she has boss armor, so... In a sense, you want to stay as close as you can. And use items liberally. Oh god, how am I still alive? Um, thank goodness that's actually a recovery item. Of health. And she can jump the stage. She can also fire tackle, which don't get in the way of that. It's not fun. She doesn't like to attack you face to face, but that will not stop her if she has to. You know what? Let's see if I can Down 73. Not mixed time. It's my last healing I am. And she does about 10 damage each time. Let's see if I can special her out. She's not the best with special attacks, but... This might end in failure. In which case, there goes this recording. Unless I have another healing item. No, I don't. That was lucky. That was very, very lucky. Frickin', frickin'. Ow! Heh. <laughs> I'm losing my touch. Getting beat like that. 
Uh, miss, are, are you okay? Uh, I'm mortally wounded. I can, I can see the fire shore. <laughs> hey, what? No, I, uh, um. I'm kidding, girl. Really, if you get worried about this every brick who tries to slit your throat and take your lucre out of freaking Hey, you really are hurt. Here, take this wound ointment. What the? Did you just... Did, did you have the... On you this entire time? Eh, <laughs> sorry, dear. And Louis is being to a pulp. And left to die. Oh well. You two are a pair of oddballs, you know that? Believe me, she is the only round, strange op object currently present. Please do not ass assume that both of us are nearly so foolish. Really? Seems to me like a you two make a good pair. Well then, young ladies, I should scamper, since I've been beaten like a mutt. Enjoy your treasure, you've earned it. Wait, I'm Rekid, and this is Tyr. We have an item shop at the top of the hill in town called Reketeer. Where we Reketeer? No. <laughs> you should stop by. I should, huh? I'll keep that in mind. See you kids later. Goodbye, Charm. Okay, giving her my store location? What are you thinking, Racket? And there she goes teleporting off. Lady thief, huh? Or lady poor, as I like to call her. She was kinda cool. You'll forgive me if I do not think the same way. Hey, are you jealous? <laughs> Absolutely not. And door and chest. Now charm actually has, I guess, it's a percentage occurrence. Sometimes she will drop a book entitled Booze of the World. Apparently she didn't this time. But now we get a very old vase. Which, if you go into your items, it's a treasure. It sells for 21400 at base price. That alone I think is good enough for next week too. Return to town. Clear. And we get all this. Toothpicks. I guess I missed your almost toothpicks. Oh well. And the end of the day. And the end of the part. Thanks for all your help today, Drew. I'll stay well. You look tired. Get some rest. We have made 7,500 and exceeded expectations completely. And did we pay off our first? Did we make our first payment? Look at the lemon glass. Paid. I don't know if those numbers in the bottom le left mean anything, but meh. Turn finance. So this is the payment for this week. Let me see. Congratulations, well done. I've officially received your payment for this week. Let us continue to work hard next week as well. Yay, I did it! I'm coming you now next week too, Tyr. Oh, what's this event? Hmm, so this is it. That insolent little plebeian shop which is the focus of so much rumor. My, my, it's so common. So dirty, so dull. How does that little prol get people to come in, I wonder. Well, no matter. This is the perfect opportunity to show that little shrew in this and this whole city, what a truly elegant shop is like. Oh, oh. Uh, you know, you 
Uh, you know you don't own that story yet, right? It belongs to your parents. It's silence, you insolent fairy! It will be mine eventually! That's practically the same thing. Oh little shop, racketeer. Your days are numbered! And very cliched rich people say. And I told you to dress me as young mistress. On to the next day. And I'm gonna call that part. Thank you, and let's see. Metal Gear? See you next time.